Hello, my name is Jeremy and I'm a product specialist at Abstract. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to material creation in Instamat Studio using the element graph. The element graph is a node-based graph that allows you to combine images, meshes, and point clouds together to not only build procedural PBR materials, but also dynamic 2D and 3D asset creation workflows. Let's take a look at how we can use Instamat's Canvas UI to create a stylized brick path material. To create a material in Instamat Studio, create a new project and choose Element Graph. From here, we can use one of Instamat Studio's built-in templates to get us started or start with an empty graph. In this case, let's start with an empty graph by choosing No Template. Here, we are presented with what's known as the Canvas. This large grid in the center is the node-based graph UI in Instamat Studio, where we can add nodes and make connections between their inputs and outputs. To add a node into the canvas, we can use the graph library panel on the left, denoted by the element icon, or you can press the one key on the keyboard. The graph library is where you can find all the nodes that come within Instamat Studio. Instamat's vast library of nodes includes high quality grunges, noises, and a large assortment of tools for image and mesh processing. To add a node into your graph, simply drag and drop it into the canvas. Another way to add nodes is by right-clicking to bring up Quick Search. Quick Search is context sensitive and takes any incoming information into account when providing suggestions for nodes. To view a node's output in the image viewer, click on the output pin. We can adjust a node's properties from the graph object editor panel on the right. This is the general workflow when working in the canvas in Instamat Studio. We can bring in nodes, make connections, and make adjustments to each node by adjusting their parameters in the Graph Object Editor panel. To create a material in Instamat Studio, we need to generate a selection of outputs to provide the necessary data for the material to be viewed correctly in a physically-based environment. In a PBR or physically-based material, we need the following outputs to visualize it properly. They are the base color, normal, roughness, metalness, ambient occlusion, and height maps. Instamat provides a node called the Material Make node that allows us to bring together all these outputs so that we can start visualizing our material in 3D while we create it. We can then use Quick Search to bring in nodes that convert the brick generator's height output into normal and ambient occlusion information. Now that our basic material channels are set up, we can use the Brick Generator node to dial in the exact look for our pavement material. The brick generator makes it easy to customize the amount, pattern, and shape of our bricks. We can even apply variation to the height of each brick so that some bricks appear more sunk into the ground. We can use the slope warp node to warp the edges of the bricks for a more weathered look. By using the command or control key and left clicking, we can reroute the outputs from one node to another to change the flow of the graph. We can then adjust the slope warp's intensity to determine the level of wear on our stone tiles. Next, we can add some cracks to our tiles with the Cracks Organic node and use a Blend node to subtract them from the surface. The Cracks Organic node is a fantastic tool for easily adding realistic wear to many breakable surfaces and comes with a large assortment of customizable settings to dial in the desired look. Now it's time to add some color. We can use the Gradient Map node to map the grayscale values of our height information to a selection of color keys. Notice how we can change the output information of the gradient map from grayscale to color. In this case, the darker values will be mapped to a dark blue, and the lighter values will have a lighter blue color. By connecting the gradient map to the base color input of the Material Make node, we can continue to visualize our material in the 3D view. For more information on how to navigate in a particular area of Instamat Studio, click on an area of the UI and the status bar at the bottom will display the associated keyboard shortcuts. These settings will vary depending on your machine's platform. For a more stylized look, I'd like to highlight the edge of each stone tile. To insert a node in between two other nodes, we can right-click the connection to bring up Quick Search. We can use the Height to Curvature node to identify the edges and valleys of our material. We can then adjust and create more keys in the Gradient Map node to bring out the edges.
Now I can continue to add more detail with material effects. By entering link category mode, related node pins are combined, making it easy to connect nodes with many inputs and outputs. With Instamat's material effect nodes, common tasks like adding dirt and dust become as easy as bringing in a single node. Notice how when using link category mode, Quick Search recognizes that it's taking an entire material as an input and providing us with compatible nodes, such as material effect dirt and material effect dust. Instamat Studio comes with an extensive library of high quality procedural materials that can be used for your projects. These materials can be easily combined to create more complex materials using the material blend height node. By adjusting the top and bottom offset, we can control the blend between the two materials. And with color matching, the Material Blend Height node can create a more cohesive result. The last thing to do is expose our graph outputs by right-clicking and choosing Expose Output Parameters. By exposing our graph outputs, we can then choose to export our material maps as images or use the material directly in a DCC application with our integrated plugins. One of the main benefits of creating a material with nodes is the ability to go back and make changes to an earlier step in the process. For example, with this material, we can go all the way back to the beginning of the node chain and adjust the brick generator to get a completely different pattern. With nodes, we can build reusable recipes that future-proof our materials. And because we're building a set of instructions, we gain even more benefits, such as being able to create countless variations of our materials by changing the seed, or exposing properties of our materials so that artists can make adjustments with custom parameters, or generating the material at a different resolution. There's so much to uncover when it comes to nodes, the element graph, and material creation in Instamat Studio. To learn more, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Here we have an ever-expanding library of videos covering the ins and outs of Instamat. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, drop us a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. For the latest news about Instamat, please visit our website and follow us on Twitter. You can find all the links in the video description below. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next one.